Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So I've created over 30 Roger rackets for probably 30 people who've requested them. <laughs> and I just got this five eights from Coach Rob that he shared with me thinking. Stay tuned. All right, so coffee sponsor of today is Pavel Gore. P-A-V-E-L-G-O-R. Pavel Gore. Pavel writes, keep up the good work, man. Well, thank you for the coffee. I think I got people coming. So... If you want to be my coffee sponsor of the day, network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. If you want to support the channel, super thanks is the way. Link is below. Coach Rob um, brought in a bunch of rackets that he got in the past like 15 years and shared them with us. This was one of the ones uh, he brought in. And I was like, Coach Rob, what do you want to do with that? He's like, can you fed it out for me? Or can it be fed it out? And I'm like, yeah, sure. Just leave it. Um, and I've probably held it for three weeks already. And he hasn't asked, which is great about Coach Rob. He's never in a rush for anything. Um, he'll, he'll, he figures if, if he does it, he does it. If he doesn't, he doesn't. And if he gets to it, great. So that's the one thing great about my coach, Rob, is that he ain't that type of person, if you know what I mean. Okay, so so I am going to surprise him later on today and fed this out. But um, his is a 5.8. And it'd be interesting to fed it out um, with a 5.8 grip. And then compare it to a 3 8 grip one that I already have to see if uh, we feel a difference. Um, right? Next step would be to add the lead. So there is the lead, just like Fed's. So I took the head guard off. In its new form, the head guard comes off easily. And the head guard will go back on easily. If we were to take one from let's say back in this day, used and abused, and I had to do this, this ain't going back on, okay? So because Coach Rob gave me a new one, this is just gonna actually snap right back on. I may need some help from an all, but I'm gonna put this back on, and then we're gonna go to the Falcon to string it. All right, we're at the Falcon. I've already done a couple mains. And we're going to put the signature leather lace on and continue with Coach Rob's racket. Okay. Coach Rob's going to love this. His own fed. Five eights, though. <laughs> All right. We'll get back to you when I'm done stringing. Hey coach. What's up Barry? What you got there today? Oh, just wanted to try out the new white out and then obviously got my black out with some new strings in there. So I want to test it out with you. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. All right. Um, what you got there coach? Oh, well, I mean, if we're going to test out your rackets today, I thought we'd just test out my rackets today. What do you, what do you think? Sure coach. No! If you want that perfect coach or partner, who is a racket junkie just like you play your court is the place they have over 27,000 players for you to choose from it's all at playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin all right so coach rob's racket just got finished. Man, I hate taking off this thing with the 5.8 grip because 
After all, it's a 5 8 grip. They still make fed rackets in 5 8 I don't think I've sold one in 10 years. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, the leather's still good. It's not... So I usually do this to the old rackets just to see if it would flake off in my hand. And it's not flaking off in my hand. Because when it dries out, it starts to flake. Wait, let me see if I can... I feel something. That's my skin. Okay. All right, let's, let's go put an overgrip on it. The leather's still good. It's my skin that's not. Okay. That's all right. Okay, take the tab off. Remember what I taught you. We grip it all the way to the bottom. Come around once. Look, that's going to have to stick out because it's a 5 8 grip. We barely cover. Look at that. Look at that. See? No creasing. No creasing. It probably is easier when it's a 5 8 grip for, for no creasing, too. When it's thinner, like a eighth or even a zero grip, it's easier to crease because it doesn't have all the bevels to come around. So... Okay, so there's that. Stringling's next. Okay, stringling's next. Okay, I'm going to do what I always do. W, okay, away from me, because for some reason that's that way. And the words are here. Okay, W there. So I'm going to put stringlings in here now. I know it's four and four. Four down, four across. One, two, three, four. Right here. First stringling in. Skip one, go. Skip one, go. Skip one, go. Skip one, go. On the next one, though, it's over here. One skip, one down, so it's six down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it starts this one. So it's here. There. Here. There. Here. Okay. So I guess Fed actually, um, he knows where he hits the ball. He knows how he grips the racket. Therefore, it's a certain pattern that he likes his stringlings. And then we're going to get the stencil and the W going this way. So we're out here. I know that it's right about there. Just because I know. Because I see stringling there, stringling there. And then it's about halfway down that particular one. Therefore, it's about a quarter of an inch past this first line. Okay, make sure the sides are almost the same and this is straight, which it is. Okay, don't press down too hard with this. I mean, just go dab, dab, dab in the middle and then start going for it. Okay, hold it steady. The gut absorbs it really well. Poly, probably not so much. But. Okay. So what do you do, guys? Don't make the mistake. Okay, you see how this was like this? When you turn the racket around, you turn the stencil thing around. Okay? You line it up as close as you can to what it was, 
you can tell by the lines on top, right? See, I'm looking. What am I looking at? I'm looking at that right there. So I want to cover that. That's going to be my marker. So right there is where I want to be. I look at my sides for last check, and then I go for it. You don't have to do much on the second side because it's already kind of come through from the first side. So just touch it up. Don't go crazy. I feel like the bearded dude. Ross. Bob Ross. Look at see how you make the the Wilson Federer stencil. And you add the depth to the red ink. And there she is. I hope Coach Rob likes it. And uh, let's see Coach Rob on the court. All right. See you on the court. Hey, Coach Rob. What's up, Harry? I got a surprise for you. Ooh, we like that. You're going to like, yeah, you're going to like this one. Sweet. Is this one where you're going to trick me? Um, I'm going to, I might do an NXT though later on for you. Is this going to be an you. NXT on me? It's going to be a Dunlop NXT on you. Mm, so, I think we've done that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Coach Rob, um, yours, your racket's a four and a half and you know, this old thing needs to be retired, I think. Right. Well, it's, it's a four and a half on accident. But oh, it's yes. a four and a half on accident? Yeah. Normally yeah. five eights. But you, you still would prefer a five eights today? You know, I, if I was playing a lot, I would probably go with the five eights again. Um, just because when I squeeze down, um, it would probably turn in my hand. Because teaching a lot, I can use the smaller grip and just feed. And So you would still use the five eights? I still? think so. I haven't used the five eights in so long that... I'm kind of going on my guess I would, but... Okay, well, remember your fed? I do. Remember the fed that you found? didn't give me, but you found? I and found. And I said, I'll fix it for you? You did. It's been about three or four weeks, and I finally got around to it. Awesome. Wow. Thank you, Harry. Here, I'll let you unwrap it like a pro. Oh, <laughs> nice. Well I, well, I put my bag down. Thank you, Harry. This yeah, is really um, nice. I'm... I'm I'm almost scared to use it. And I'm only gonna, I'm still going to uniglow it today out for you too with my uniglow shirt. Okay. Just to, just to represent fed here. Man. Oh, I even got the string savers in there. Oh yeah. So no, that's fed spec. Yeah. On a five eighths. Right. Oh. Is that going to be your new teaching stick or what, what uh, are you doing? I don't, since it's <laughs> fed, I, I think it may have to go back in the bag. <laughs> It's not going in the garage. It's not going in the closet. Wow. Thank you, Harry. This is awesome. All right. So I got my three eighths fed in my bag and uh, let's hit a few with our feds. Yeah, let's do it. And then That's maybe awesome. switch grips and then see sure. if we could tell the difference. Right. Okay. That'd be awesome. Right, let's go. So we just had a lot of fun. Oh, so much fun, Harry. This feels awesome. Thank you. Oh, thank you're you welcome. so much. Even though it's a five eighths with the overgrip, you feel like you got to move your feet and watch the ball like Fed to sort of at least, hey, he's not playing, but this is the racket. Continue its journey. You, if you're playing with the man's racket, right. you better at least act like the man's. Exactly. <laughs> better hit and move like the man and watch the ball. So I, so yours is a five eighths. Um, it will, it will shrink and it will, you know, kind of thin out as we squeeze it. It's obviously at its thickest point right now. Right. Um, yours is the five eighths. Mine's is the three eighths. Did you feel a main difference or any difference between five eighths, three eighths? Just that this is obviously bigger. And so that it, it um, I hadn't used a five eighths in so long, but it felt good. <laughs> as, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think. 
I think I was more just the Fed fact kind of blinded my how's it feel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, this is like the Fed setup. We got the power pads back. We got some string savers. We got the champ's choice going. Uh, what was the Fed tension? I did 52, 52. on both, all okay. around. Yeah. Uh, so the one thing that I noticed between my 3.8s and your 5.8s is um, my backhand, I immediately went wham, and I was like, that's five backhand, right there. You know, like when I was using big grips back in the day, it was like my backhand easily already, like I, I felt the bevel, bam, I'm in. Right. With the three eighths, I have to kind of take a split second to find it. But I knew where it was on that one. Right. Yeah. Forehand, though, this one was much more comfortable. That one, I was kind of like, where the heck is this forehand? Because there's just so much of it. You right. Know? But you hit well with it. I, I, I wasn't going to not hit well with it, no matter how tired I am right now. I'm like, come on, feet. Whatever you got left, could do it. Move it. Watch right. the ball. Don't hit it on the ground, as I kept telling myself. Right. If it bounces twice, so be it. Right. Keep I fed fresh. I get you. No, and the, the one thing good about these rackets with the weight in the head and the overall weight is that if you could just get it back and get it through, yep. it finished up for you. Right. <laughs> right. I didn't mean for that to be a rhyme, but it was true. You know? Yep. It, it's just it, it just feels wonderful, whether it's a five eighths, a three eighths. I've done quarters. I haven't done a half, though. Mm. Um, this was my first five-eighths for you. Right. But everybody I've done this for have thanked me and basically have said, this is the best record I've ever played with. Right, yeah. <laughs> so. Kind of curious that on the uh, the string savers, they skipped a string in the middle, and they're up here. Yeah. I was When I was putting it in, I was thinking about this um, a couple years ago. He hit, holds his racket one way. Like he, like I even did it with both of these in, in that I held it on the flat side against my palm, right? Versus the, the round side. Cause I could feel the round side here and the flat side here. Okay. I'm a flat side, fly, I'm a flat side guy. So I will hold it like this. And then the W is like that, right? Like this. So gotcha. I will always hold it like this. I mean, I'm unconsciously knowing that. Okay. Therefore, Fed knows that too. Therefore, mm. if he does that, he's going to hit strike the ball probably in this right. zone. Right. So he knows that he wants certain strings to move and others not to, to preserve the gut. Right. So right. that's why he does it this way. Interesting. Yeah. Learn do, something Do new. you hold flat side or do you hold round side? <sighs> Or you just hold continental in the middle and don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say I hold it like this. So okay. is that? Oh, it doesn't affect you. You don't see. I'm I'm at the bottom, so it affects me. I'm here. Got it. So it so I feel this. Okay. I the feel cap. this flat versus round. Okay. So you you're up here. You don't feel anything. Well, I broke too many butt caps back in the day, and so my boss and uh, pro at the time he goes. We started making a, um, we used to take a knob, a knob yep. so that my hand would sit. It wouldn't come off where I wouldn't keep breaking butt caps. Ah. So I ended up just starting. <laughs> it was, it became here because he's like, I'm not fixing these anymore. Oh, gotcha. And that's, that's when we were you. using glue, yeah, yeah, nails, yeah. Uh, staples. staples. We were doing everything. Gotcha. And he's like, time to buy a new racket. Gotcha. So you can hold it both ways and you wouldn't tell the, you can't tell the difference probably. And I can feel a little different, just kind of where my pinky sits. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Good to know. But this is awesome. I love, love the feel. I think I love the fact it's like the <laughs> setup, you know. But all right, awesome. Coach Rob. Thank you so much, Harry. I really appreciate no it. No worries. I'm glad you're happy. Yeah, for sure. All right. Very cool. And thanks for hanging out with me, playing the feds. Absolutely. So. Anytime. We might do it again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.